Assessments of neuromuscular function and motor unit characteristics in vastus lateralis. We'll take a look at some of the standard tests used to measure leg strength. Our volunteer will sit upright in a sturdy chair with the knee angle fixed at around 90 degrees flexion and the ankle fastened securely to the force transducer. In these tests, we will use surface and intramuscular electromyography, commonly known as EMG. This measures electrical activity from the muscle and can be used to estimate motor unit number size, firing rates and stability. The EMG measurements will be taken from around the motor point of the vastus lateralis, which can be found by applying very low current electrical stimulation over the skin. We are looking for the area of muscle that makes the largest twitch from the lowest stimulation. Your volunteer can warm up by completing some moderate level contractions. Then measure maximal isometric force three times and record the highest. Apply supramaximal stimulation to the femoral nerve which passes through to the muscle. The electrical signal is recorded by the surface EMG electrode and is known as the Maximal Compound Muscle Action Potential or CMAP. With the volunteer sitting fully relaxed, the concentric needle EMG electrode is inserted into the muscle adjacent to the surface EMG electrode. The volunteer performs a series of isometric muscle contractions, each held for 15 seconds to match a stable target force displayed on the screen. The assessments completed here provide information about how the maximal strength and accuracy of movements relate to the motor unit structure and function. In more advanced tests, we can use this information to understand how people are able to stand upright, balance and complete normal daily movements.